you have a comment about this program, we'd love to hear it. Email or call us or send us your feedback through social media. Series. When Calls the Heart returns with an all new season. Constable, I wrote this as a love letter to my son and to everyone else in this town. I can't quite outrun my past. Fire! We're on the threshold of a new era here. When Calls the Heart, season nine. At St. John Ambulance, we're all about community. We teach life-saving skills and provide community support through our volunteer services. All St. John Ambulance product sales and training registrations support these important services. Volunteer, donate, or enroll in a program today so we can continue to have an impact on our community. Visit sja.ca to learn more. At St. John Ambulance, we do more than save lives, we change lives. Rogers TV, Gander. This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit Rogers.com for more details. Red 
Devils win it back to their defense. As Landon Gill forces the play and comes out with the puck. Feeds Jonah Kennedy at the point. Jonah Kennedy up to Sam Fisher. Sam Fisher tries to get it in deep. Nice play by Thomas Bryan, though. Thomas Bryan skating with it. Up to the Red Devils winger, right through his legs. And in, and Blake Young collects it in the Roadrunners zone. Skates with it up the wall. Blake Shoots Young it up. makes Tim a nice pass to Landon Gale. No, wait, not Landon Gale. Sam Fisher going wide. Turns around. Battle. Landon Gale. Benjamin Tuff battling in front for a pass. Almost goes in. His cold leg tries to get it out. Nice safety by Gavin Foley. Has to get it out. Cold leg going up ice in the middle. Going past the defenders. Shot. Nice save. Back in the zone, zone, and Benjamin Tough for checking. Jack Boone gets it up the wall. It's picked off by Graham Pittman. Graham Pittman tries to go for a little skate. Up to Matt Elliott. Matt Elliott skates wide. Dumps it in. Dumps it in deep. Battle on the boards. 24. 23, dumps it up, dumps it up. Number two, nice pass of 21. Missed shot. for a stretch pass to Graham Pittman and blocked off by Thomas Bryan. Uh -oh. Graham Pittman tries to skate with it again. Number 37 tries to get it in deep. As, as defense trying to get the puck gets two on one. Graham Pittman tries to get a shot off. And Owen Parsons Gets a pass, but Jonah gets there. Jonah Kennedy gets there first. Um, Parsons looks for a pass in front, gets tipped. Thomas Bryant battling for it. As Joe Stratton gets a shot on net, nice save by Carter Egadie. And Simon Gillard tries to pick it up. Blake Young shoots it up the boards. Doesn't quite get out of his zone, though. A battle on the boards. And Landon Gale's going to try to reel with it. Gets a shot off. Nice save by Gavin Foley. Thomas Bryan gets that problem. Land takes another shot. No, coming pass. As um, they're battling for it in their zone, trying to get possession. And it's in deep. Trying to get it out. Nice play by Thomas Bryan. A, as they race for the puck down in the Roadrunner zone. The Red Devils get it first. Tries to look for a pass in front, but the Roadrunners go with it. Red Devils get it back. Roadrunner, Roadrunner Grant Pittman is gonna take a shot. Just missed the net. Goes for a chip out. Ryder Power collects it. As he tried, nice pass, and Grant Pittman with the nice goal. As Road Warner's lead, 1-0. It's 
nice goal by Graham Pittman, as you can see on the replay, or never mind. <laughs> oh, here it is. Nice pass right in the slot, and just on the left side. As the, there is no clear winner to the draw there, Graham Pittman collects it. Graham Pittman takes a nice shot. Gavin Foley with a nice save. Battling down in the corner. As Red Devil, as Red Devil tries to dump it. They're trying to clear it out through the center. Ryder Power get the puck right in the slot. Benjamin Tufts trying to get him in the net. Battle for it behind Gavin Foley's net. Oh, and Chase tries to get that. This play by Ryder Power to get it in deep. And Joe Stratton goes to collect it. Battle on the board, Sam Fisher gets it out. Benjamin Tufts battling down in the zone. There's it, Sam Fisher. Benjamin Tuff gets possession. Oh, and Benjamin Tuff gets a nice shot, but beautiful save by Gavin. As Cole Ford goes with speed. Nice play by Chase, Chase Tolk. They're looking for a clear pass. Okay. Lana Gale up, tries to pick it up. And Gale goes back. Blake Young. Oh, nice try for the saucer pass on the Jack Lynch. And Cole Ford messes up with the <laughs> collection of the pass. Uh, pass. Puck race for it. Tom, Thomas Bryan gets the puck. Gets it up the wall to Mason Wolfrey. Hits off a skate and back into the Red Devil zone. All right, as number seven gets it, pass it to Thomas Bryan. Nice pass back. Gracie Sullivan looking for a, a good pass. Nice play there. Owen Parsons collects it. Looks for a pass at the middle. Gets tipped. Jonah Kennedy puts it back in the zone. Tries to chip it off the boards. And it works. Number 37 going up. Owen Parsons. Jack Lynch Jack collects it. Collected it. <laughs> Puts it down deep. No icing called. Thomas Bryant loses his glove. Lena Gale in front. Jump. Nice save by Gavin there. As Lena Gale collects that. Mason Wolfrey goes up with it. Shot on net. Nice save by Carter Egedy. Jack Lynch collects it. Nice play by number 37 on the Red Devils to get it, to keep it in their zone. Matt Elliott tries to clear it. As the defense picks up that, tries to get it off the boards. Grant Pittman picks it up. Grant Pittman skating in. Looks for a shot. Whiffs on it. Graham Pittman cycling around the zone. Right in front, nice pick off by Jack Boone. Jack Boone skating with it. Oh, nice by Graham Pittman. And shot on that, and nice and shot. that's a good shot. Top left. As the road runners are winning two to nothing. Yeah. With one minute left in the first. Red Devils goalie, Gavin Foley. Couldn't do anything about that one. It's a nice shot by Graham Pittman. Face-off win by the Red Devils. Joe Stratton up the boards just a little bit too far. That would be an icing for a face-off in the Red Devils zone. Here's a replay of Grand Pittman's goal, top left, all the way from close to the wall. Nice shot there. As Grand Pittman and Colton Leg line up for the face-off in the Red Devils zone. And Win, Cole one leg ball. wins it. Jack Boone looking for Cole Ford right in the middle. Oh, that would be no icing though. Or not? I thought Cole yeah. Ford tipped it there, but refs called that icing for face off in the Red Devils zone. Win 
by Red Devils. And looks like they're trying to get it out. Chase makes a nice play on defense. Tall. Ryder Power goes in. Battle on the boards. The Red Devils, Thomas Bryan collects it. Picked off by Simon Gillard. Goes wide, drops back, and gets it in deep. And Pittman collects it. Tries to get it in deep. Thomas Bryan collects it on the back. Boards. Cole Ford. Nice try for the pinch by Chase Cole. Graham Pittman takes possession of the puck. Makes a nice pass. Nice pass back. Oh, and just right off the, the crossbar. Right off the crossbar. Chase Tolk gets it, tries to push out on net, and that would be end of the first period. Two to nothing for the Roadrunners. Roadrunners, Graham Pittman on the wall, looking for a play. Right in the slot, Jack Lynch just missed it there, right in front of him. Now the Red Devils are trying to get it out now. Matt Elliott back to James. 
with James Mercer. Good shot on that, but nice save by Gavin Foley. Covers it up for a whistle. Gavin Foley's kind of clutching it up in their zone right now. Face off, another face off in the Red Devil zone. Pushed ahead by Graham Pittman. The puck race, Ryder Power gets it of the Roadrunners. Graham Pittman picks it up, trying to go for a skate. Graham Pittman shot on net, just high, and Gavin Foley picks it up with his glove for another face off in their own as the Roadrunners forwards change up. Try to get a goal here. Extend the lead, the three to one. Outside the zone, Ryder Power. Cross ice, but picked off. In front, he's walked by Jones. Landon Gale trying to look up there. Battling the boards. Pull forward right in the slot, but Landon Gale will go for his skate. Going wide. Nice move. Gracie Sullivan sticking with her, with, sticking with him. Slap shot on net. Gets tipped wide with the skate. Jack Boone over to. game two to two now with seven minutes and seven seconds left in the second period the first round robin game there you see a replay nice pass there and right on the right side nice face off center ice put ahead by Graham Pittman nobody there to pick it up though on Parsons nice move trying to get through Graham Pittman picks it up looking for a good pass. Nice move there. Ch chips it up to Sam Fisher. Sam Fisher up to Graham. Pittman with speed. Nice move. Fumbles the puck. And nice save by Gavin Foley. Blake Young puts it in deep. Battle on the boards. Mentor Tuff comes out with it to Graham Pittman. Shoots. Nice save by Gavin. Gavin Foley covers the puck up, face off to his right in his own zone. Jack Boone puts it up the wall. Puck race, Blake Young wins it, gets the puck. Mason Wolfrey with, trying to get some speed, turned over, Benjamin Tuff on the wall, just outside the zone. As Jack Moon circles around in his own zone, looking for a play. Saucer pass up to number two on the Red Devils, and just missed it. It's a puck race. Blake Young wins it, but nice forecheck by Owen Parsons. Almost turns the puck over. Benjamin Tuff trying to chip it up the wall. He does. Right to Jack Boone, though. Nice play there. Gets it in deep. We got to do. Going Kenny, collects it. Puts it up the wall. Look, number 37. Brent, been trying to pick that off. Cold leg. Back to number 37 to Joe Stratton. Joe Stratton, a shot on net. Gets tipped just wide. Cold leg looks for a play in front. Fumbles it. Grant Pittman trying to get some speed going to Benjamin nice Toff. speed to Benjamin. Trying to get through. Can't do it. Grand Pittman regains the puck. Goes behind. Trying to Tries look to for a pass up. or something. Joe Stratton collects it. And Grand Pittman picks it off. Backhands it in deep. And Sam Fisher's going for the forecheck. And he comes out with the puck. Behind the net for Landon Gale. Nice plays. And nice save by Gavin Foley. The squirts out of his glove. Right in front, nothing. James Mercer, shot on net, just wide. 
Matt Elliott goes to collect that puck in his offensive zone. Tries to get behind. Nice play there by Landon. Chase Mercer Elliott. for another shot. Nice save by Gavin Elliott. As the goalies are switching, both goalies have played well so far. Nile Tucker is getting in for the Roadrunners and 31 for the Red Devils. Face off in the Red Devils end. One by the Roadrunners. Up in the air. Battle on the boards. Oh, Cooper and Blacker goes up the wall. Trying to drive it wide. Stops up. Puts it in deep. Brett Compton going for it. But Jack Lynch is also full forward. Backhands it in deep. Ryder Power collects it. And he's looking for a feed. Chase Tall. Nice, nice play by the board. That's really Landon Gale looking for a pickup right there. As Landon Gale circles. Looking for a pass. Got blocked by his little teammate though. Cole Ford. Nice four check. Didn't get a teammate. Nice four check by Brett Compton. Right in front and just nice, wide. Nice save by Niall Tucker. Right in front, right in the slot. Just went under his stick. Good ice by Matthew Elliott. Doesn't look like that would be a nice one though. Crazy Sullivan picks it up. Matt Elliott picks it off though. Looking for a shot on net. Nice back check. Not there. Chase Tall tries to take a shot off. Gets blocked. And Cooper Blacker goes up with speed and offside. They replay with a nice save. There, look at it. Right on the pad. Face off, push forward from right to Joe Stratton. Up the wall to number two on the Red Devils. Gets it in deep, nice play. It's a four check. Owen oh, Parsons goes in. Jonah Kennedy try to battle for that. Roadrunners chips it up, which is a little bit too far. To Joe Stratton. Joe Stratton tries to get in. an offside call. Battle on the wall. Red Devils pick it up. Jonah Kennedy with the news. Pass up. Grand Payment picks up the puck. Looking to get some speed here. Chips it up the wall. Recollects the puck. Look for a pass right in front, just a little bit far. Nice try on the pass there. Flex it, puts it back in deep. Pat, As a for a pass in front. Grant, Grant Pittman. Pittman gets it again, trying to cycle the zone. Like Young puts it in deep. As Red Devils get possession. Number two. It's up to Owen Parsons. Owen Parsons trying to get some speed generated. Didn't, didn't do it. And Jonah Kennedy collects it as a offside blade for White. And just a little bit far to Sam Fisher. As an icing will be called. One minute and 29 seconds left in the second period of the first game, the Rand Robin and CNAA HL playoff tournament. 2 2, score tie, close game here. Coming back, Damon Murphy puts it up the wall. Sam Fisher looks like he's going to collect it. Chips it up. Too far to collect it. Nice play by Thomas Bryan to collect that puck in his own zone. Battle in the corner, Benjamin Tuff. Gets the puck, and Gale to Sam Fisher. Lennon Gale tries to look for a pass, and Benjamin Tuff with the shot. In the 
the Red Devil Zone. As Colton Leg picks up the puck on a breakaway. Damon Murphy tries to stop him. Nice save by Nile Tucker. And Nile Tucker probably does not cover it. Off in the rubber zone. Both teams don't want to let up any shots in the last minute of play. Drops the puck. Landon Gale wins the draw back to the defense. Owen Parsons back to Gracie Sullivan. Gracie Sullivan puts it on the wall in the corner. Pull forward, looks at it, and collect that puck. Battle. And Sam Fisher comes out with it. Benjamin Tuff trying to get speed. And Fisher trying to go up wide. Landon Gill gains possession of the puck. Looking for someone to pass it to. Sam, Sam Fisher tries to go for it. Chase Tolk tries to get it in deep. Too far, though. Sam right to Landon Gill. Turns the puck over. Never mind. It was Owen Parsons with only 10 seconds left. It was up. Out of power. Puts try it in. to dump that down. So. Looks like it will not be an icing. Not far enough. So the end of the second period is over.
Okay. Just one. Right back in front. Just wide. Pass it. Green's gone with it. Tries to head man the puck, but White stops. He's gone on. Green tries to chip it off the boards. Green's gone with, got the puck, passes out in front, goes out of the zone. Back in again for White. White takes the puck, shoots but misses the net by far. Green chips it off the boards all the way down. Seems like it's an ice. Icing right down back in the green. Three to two for the game. Green wins the face off back to the winger. The Red Devils. Green takes the puck. Red Devils puts it back in the green zone. Green's gone with it. Chips it off the boards. Red Devils. Three to two for the game. Shoots just wide. Green's got the puck. Oh. And a tripping call by the Red Devils. Seemed like that penalty got delayed for a bit there. Number 21. Number 21 in the penalty box. Red Devils. It's down in the Red Devils. Two minutes. Five minutes left in the second or third period. Green's got the puck and passes it. Shoot. Takes a shot. This is the net by wide. Power plays is on. No ice. Green passes it up. Passes. And they're gone. Shoot, shoots, but just off the post. Off the outside of the post. Green's got it again. Red takes it from him. Back to the green. Slap shot. He shoots, but misses it. Er, goalie Save. saves. Shoots. And that would be that would be covered by number thirty one. off the boards. They're gone with it. Oh, Red tries to take it. Red's got it back. Chips into the board zone. Green tries to get it back out. He's on the winger. And they're gone on a breakaway. Headman's the puck. And, and a save oh, by number 31. A save by the Red Devils goalie.
Red Devils takes it. Green's got it back. Shoots around the boards. Red Devils got it. Power play. Green Shoots. takes the shot. Red Devils takes it. Oh, they're going on. No. Green. Red Devils with the puck. Chips it off the boards. Right back to... Shoots just wide. Green. Passes it. No pass there. Oh, both of them tripped up. Oh, the back out front. And, a and that would be covered for the Red Devils goalie. Face off goes. An icing call. Icing call. Right back into the Red Devil zone. Off. Right into the red, right in the Red Devil zone. Let's see who wins it. Oh, and Red Devils wins it. Passes it, it to number 27. No. Passes it out front, and the green had it. They take a shot, but they. Red Devils with the puck. The goal passes up. it. Oh. Misfire Misses that. the pass. Oh, right off the boards. Power play is over. Shoots. Shoots. Save. One another save. 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 No goal. By number 20. Two. Green wins it face off. Passes it to number seven. The head man, the puck. Misses the pass. Green with the puck. He goes around his net. Chips it off the boards. Right to his other player. He carries the puck. And they're out gone! Of, out of the zone. They're gone up. They still have yet. Passes it back. Oh. No, number 28 is gone! Tries the two move. on two! Tries to Shoots. do drop What pass. a save. Shoots. Oh. Just why? Green blocks it. Oh, White puts it back in. The Red Devils with the puck. And the Roaches say, er, Green saves the puck. Seems to be a little mishap in front of the net there. Face 
faceoff is on. There was no man there. Just right slide. around the boards, back to the Red Devils. Puts it back in. Green got the puck. Oh, Red Devils steals. No goal. No goal. <laughs> One minute left on the clock. No goal. <laughs> Red Devils right back into the road runner zone. Oh, and he falls down with the puck. Red Devils got it again. Tries to put it in front of the net. Doesn't and they're gone. What a nice pass right up in front of the net, but seems to be blocked by the Red Devils. Road runners got it again. Oh. Empty net. Seems like the Road Runners pull, pulled their goalie. They can tie up if they score. Pulled their goalie up there. What a play. gone with it. Empty net. Ooh. Green got it out of the drone zone. But Red Devils gets it again. Oh, fight up on the boards. Who's getting the puck? Period's over. Period's over. The game is won. Red Devils won. Won by the Red Devils. Three, Three to two. two.
love. No thoughts, only ever come a cold bus. I said rockets, wretches, hold up. I said rockets, wretches, hold up. I know you came here to say. If you a freak, then you come up. Going down for real. Welcome here, folks, to the game two of the Red Devils and the River Rats. River Rats have, re have possession in the Red Devil zone. River Rats dumps it in. Red Devils now trying to break out. Red Devils breaking out. Over to Open Parsons. And Road Runners are, has, do have the breakout now. Just why? Red Devils breaking out now. Oh, and that is caught up. Roadrunners, River Rats now, do you have possession now, trying to get something going here, shot, oh, big save by Gap Foley, Red Devil still trying to get it out of their zone, they do, they dump it down for a change. River Rats now breaking up through the neutral zone. Shot, and that's just wide. Red Devils now with possession in their own zone. Red Devils cycling around the net. And that is intercepted by Cole Toms. Cole Toms now behind the Red Devils net. Trying to get something going here. Shot from the defenseman. And big save I got boy. Cole Toms here now. Can't get the shot off. Max Babcock now behind the net. Up to the defenseman. Cole Toms now, shot on net. And that's in the net by Cole Toms. River Rats now up 1-0. Early into the first period. River Rats now coming down the blue line. Red Devils had, has no possession time in the Red Rats zone. Red Rats now, little rush here. Oh, and he scores! That will make it two to nothing, River Rats, early in the first period. Ben Hutchings with the goal. The 
Devils now. Trying to get something going. They do have possession here. River Rats cycle on a two on one, three on one. Ben Hutchings now, shot. Big save by Gavin Foley. River Rats now, Reed Brown, shot from the blue line, and that is blocked. Big save by Gavin Foley. Devils are really needs to get something going here now. They have a breakout now. Owen Parsons. Oh, and that's just off sides. Rats now, trying to get a shot off, but no, just covered up by Gavin Bowley. Rare Rats, shot off. Oh, big save. Will Clint then he goes hard into the boards now. Cold and leg now, trying to get a shot off, but oh. And that is hit away by Cole Toms. River Rats now going upside of the ice. And that's just taken away by Red Devils. Red Devils now going up the ice. Oh, that's intercepted. Jack Boone now carrying puck beyond his own net. And he's going up the ice now. That's just hit away. Will Clendetti now going upside of the ice. Will Clendetti breaks through the defenseman and scores. What a goal by Will Clendetti. Three to nothing now, River Rats going in to the bottom of the first period. Max Badcock now hits it over to Tokoms. Cole Tom loses the puck there. Red Devils really needs to get something going here now. Cole Ford coming down the ice. Just gets by the defenseman. Cole Ford lay it in front. And they can't bury it. Go Stratton now with the puck. Intercepted by Max Babcock. Cole Ford now with the puck going on the zone. Cole Ford gets a shot and scores. Cole Ford and makes the game at two. And look at that. What a nice shot there, just low on another blocker.
Grayson Sullivan now with the puck. Gets it off, hard off the glass. Reed Brown just getting over. Shot, and that is deflected by Owen Parsons. River Rats can't get out of his own zone. They get caught up on the blue one, and there's a shot, and that is blocked by Owen Parsons. Owen Parsons now behind his own net. Trying to get a breakout here. Ben Hutchings now on a breakaway. And that Gracie Sullivan catches up to him. Ben Hutchings now trying to get a pass off. Oh, Parsons now, slap shot. And he misses the net just wide. Ben Hutchings now passes back to Reed Brown. Tries to get it back to Ben Hutchings, but Ben Hutchings just loses it. A little scramble on the blue line now. Ben Hutchings now behind the net. In the offensive zone, Ben Hutchings. Oda, Owen Snow now just gets a shot off, but can't get through. Owen Parsons trying to get up, but can't get that through. Jack Boone now with the puck, just coming over the blue line. Trying to get a shot here. And that's a big save by Evidenti. Jack Boone also intercepts it. Shot by Owen Parsons, and that is covered up by Evendent. Face off back down to Ron. That's intercepted by Joe Stratton. Red Devils really need to go here. Will Clinton now just dumps it down. Cone leg now breaking out of his own zone. Will Clendenny now just over the blue line and he gets it into the offensive zone. Will Clendenny behind the net now. Shot. Oh, and that goes just wide. Gavin Foley. Cole Ford intercepted. Ri River Rats trying to get a shot off here. Will Clendenny goes around the net. And that's a wild pass. Can't get through. River Rats still has possession here. Oh, that's just missed by Ryan. There will be a penalty called here. Will Clendenny for a hook. Devils trying to get a goal here. Oh, and Snow dumps it down. Crazy Sullivan gets it on the blue line. She dumps it down low. Crazy Sullivan now shot off. Big save by Evidenti. Cole Ford now dumps it back. Just wide. The 
and the river rats will dump it all the way down the ice. The Devils now trying to get a breakout. Nice Cole Ford now. Trying to get a shot off. Get a shot off. Oh, and that's they just they can't tuck it in. Red Devils can't tuck it in. Cole Ford tips it up. That's all I see. Thirty-four seconds left in the power play. Red Devils now trying to break it out. They will ice it out all the way down the ice. Joe Stratton now behind the net, trying to break it out. One minute remaining in the play. Oh, Parsons trying to get a shot off. Scramble caught on the boards. Ben Hutchings now. Two on one. Oh, and he just misses it. River Rats trying to get a shot off. That. Ben Hutchings trying to get a shot here. Over to Reed Brown, and he gets a shot off, and that's go, and that's a save. Leading the game three to one against the Red Dove Devils. The Red Devils really need to get something going here in the second period. They are down three to one. Second period action. River Rats. Red Rats getting a breakout. Will Clendenny just misses the puck. Right in front of the net. Will Clendenny pass it right in front of the net. Shot and that is deflected. River Rats cycling it down low. Look at that. Cold light now, trying to get it out now. But River Rats just has so much possession here now. This is Sullivan, chips it around their own net. Cold light now with a breakout. Nash just took it away. River Rats now. 
trying to get a shot off here, but they can't. Took it away by Coton Lake. Coton Lake gets through one defenseman, gets through two. And shoots it. Oh, big save by Evan Denty. Now, trying to get it down low. Code Lake now, trying to get, trying to get the puck out now. Thomas Bryan just he gets puck out, and now that puck is offside. A shot off, and that is blocked by Joe Stratton. Jack Boone now trying to get the puck out. Shot, oh, and he snipes it. Cole Thoms with his second goal of the game. River Rats taking full control of this game now in towards the start of the second period. See Cole Thomas with a nice shot here. He just puts it up on the bar. That's Babcock now trying to keep it in. That's Babcock now with the puck. Can't get the shot off. Out to the D man. That's Babcock now. That's just deflected. Trying to get a pass over. And. Reed Brown can't keep it in. Brian now with the puck going up. Cole Ford now chips it up. And that's intercepted by Reed Brown. And Hutchings now breaking through. Red Devils now trying to get it out, but just can't. Ben Hutchings now with the puck. Oh, that's just a pull forward on a breakaway. And he hits the crossbar. He's not so happy about that one. Red Devils. Oh, that's intercepted. Ben Hutchings just can't get the hold of the pass. Owen Parsons now. A little hit there. River Rats in their own zone. Ben Hutchings trying to get a pass out to Will Clinton, but he can't pick it up. Racy Sullivan now. Over to Jack Boone. Racy Sullivan now. Chips it up. And they they're in the neutral zone, trying to get it in the River Rat zone now. River Rats can't seem to get it out now. Cole Ford with the puck now, chips it out in front. There's Sullivan on the blue line. Chips it back down low. Cole Ford now picks up the puck. Jack Boone now with the puck, trying to get a shot off, but can't seem to get it off. Owen Parsons now with the puck. Grace Sullivan with a shot on net. And they do tuck it in. Cooper with the goal. For the tune out in the middle of the second period.
Cody Lang now getting out of the zone. Takes it all the way to the offensive zone. Trying to get a shot off here from the net. And they can't seem to get a shot off. Will Clendenin now with the puck. Cycles around right in front of the net. And he takes out the goalie with another goal of the game. Five to two now in the middle of the second period. With good hands, gets it right out of the goalie's reach. Red Devils really need some goals here. Cone leg now, get in the zone. And he can't seem to keep it. River Rats now trying to get it out. Will Clinton ain't out. Just, just gliding in his own zone. And Will Clinton tries to get past the DN, and that's covered. Oh, he can't cover it up there. Will Clinton now trying to get the puck to get a shot off. Cold leg takes it away from him. Going down the ice now. And he is, the puck was took away. Cole Toms now with a lot of momentum. Cole Toms with the puck again. Max Babcock trying to get a shot off. Can't get a shot from the net, and he scores. Number nine with the goal. Six, six to two now for the River Rats. They are taking over this game as we know it. Number nine, his first goal of the game. Cole Ford now with the puck, trying to get a shot off, and he tucks it in in the top corner. Cole Ford, his second of the game. Six to three now, towards the end of the second period. with his fast speed, just gets it, 2 on 0 Cole Thomas can't get it on the stick. Cole Ford going down the ice again, gets a shot off, and that is saved, covered up by Nick Power. Red Devils really need to get something going here. They are down by three goals, and it's not looked good for them so far. But they might try to make a comeback here. Oh, Stratton from the net. Oh, just wide. That's saved by Nick Power. Red River Rats trying to get out of his own zone. They just can't. Riverat on a breakout. Ben Hutchings with the puck. And he shoots it. And that is covered up by Gage Humphreys. Off in the Red Devil zone, trying it out here, but Owen Parsons now with the puck, trying to get it out. Deep through him off someone. And that will be offside on the Red Devils.
Alvarez gets it out. Wolf Pandeni now trying to get the puck. Alvarez gets it up, dumps it down low. Cycling around the net. He dumps it back down to Wolf Pandeni. Wolf Pandeni can't keep the puck. He gets it back. He's tripped up there, but no call on the play. Mercy Sullivan now behind her own net. Mercy Sullivan gets it up. Luke Brown dumps it down low. Good shot on net, but can't get through. Now will be offsides on the River Rats. in their own zone now, get going around the net. They dump it up. River Rats try and get it out. That's batted down by Wolf Lundeni. They need to have a breakout here, three on two. Behind the net now, River Rats still in possession at the top of the point. And he shoots it, oh, and he can't get by. Wolf Lanetti now cycles it. Riffarat still has possession now. Wolf Lanetti now with the puck now, passes it over, shot, and that is covered up by Gage Humphreys. Cole Ford now trying to get the puck. Max Babcock takes it around his own net. And he slings it around the boards. Jack Boone now trying to get a shot off. Circles around offensive net. Jack Boone now still has possession. Reed Brown does take the puck from him. Gracie Sullivan dumps it down low. Cole Tom's trying to get the puck. Cole Thompson now with the puck. He does have speed coming down. And that will be offsides. Just barely though. One minute and 21 seconds remaining in this period. Devils now breaking it out. And that's taken away. Ben Hutchings now trying to get past Joe Stratton. He can't. Dumps it back to Owen Parsons. Joe Stratton now trying to get the puck out. Can't get it out. Shot from the D-man. And that is taken away. Ben Hutchings now fighting hard for the puck now. He can't seem to get it. Shot in, in front of the net and Gage Humphrey covers it up. Zone. 
River Rats has a lot of possession in this game. Defense keeps it in. Colton White now up to Cole Ford. Cole Ford trying to get around the D-man. He does, tries to bury it, and he can't. Colton Leg behind the net now with the puck. Oh, Parsons coming it around, circles it. Behind the net now, trying to get something going. But no one's in front of the net for him. And Hutchins can't take the puck away from him. Colton Leg trying to get a shot off, but just can't. That will be the end of the second period with a... Devils with only three goals in this game, trying to get something going here, but River Rats is just a very good team, very strong. Now gets it in their own zone. Reed Brown around the net now. They do get it up. Jack Boone now. Reed Brown around his own net, trying to get it up here. Number three gets it up. Grace is over now behind their own net. Any with the puck now. Puck in front of the net. He can't get it in. Gage Humphreys covers that up. River Rats with possession in the offensive zone. Jack Boot now with the puck, dumps up in the neutral zone. Ray Sullivan with the puck now. Over the Jack Boone. Ray Sullivan behind your own net. Our Devils trying to trying to get it around their net now. Out in front of the Cole Toms. And he scores. Just under the bar on Gage Humphreys. River Rats up seven to three now. Early in the third period. Next up, 
Kong in front of the net. Oh, and that just gets away from him. Cole Ford now. That is just offside. The Devils really need a couple goals here. They are down four goals. But there is still time left in this game. Cole Ford now just over the blue line. Gets to the D-man and can't get a shot off. Cole Ford behind the offensive net now. Gets it up. Ben Hutchings with the puck now. Tips out in front, and that will go in. Ben Hutchings over to Max Babcock, and he does tip it in. Eight to three now at the top of the third. Ben Hutchings, he does work on that sauce a lot. Jack Boone now with the puck. Gets it off, but can't quite get it. Code Leg with the puck. Can't quite get it in there. Shot deflected. Code Leg trying to get it in now. Code Leg does have the puck now. Nick Power playing great in that tonight. Light now getting over the zone. He is tripped up with no call on the play. <laughs> Defense now going behind their net. <laughs> and Hutchie now trying to puck here. Riverats taking it over the blue line. Riverats trying to get a shot in front of the net. Over to Ben Hutchings. Ben Hutchings can't bury it. Riverats sold the puck. Red Devils trying to get out of the read round shot. He gets it on net. Gracie Sullivan now with the puck. Owen Snow out with the puck, trying to get a shot off, but he can't get it off. Will Clendenny now with the puck behind his own net. Ben Hutchings now. Back to Will Clendenny. Owen Snow now, shot and that's just wide. Reed Brown now with the puck. Dumps it back down low. Red Devils can't quite get it out. They finally get it out now. But Ben Hutchings takes it right back in. Ben Hutchings. Good feet skills to keep that puck in. Hutchings now taking the puck around the net. Takes it out, cycles down low. Shot from the net and save. Gage Humphreys playing is on his game tonight. 8-3 River Rats. They have a really good lead. Red Devils can't seem to get anything going now. River Rats cycles it down low. That's taken away. Only laid out flat. 
will send any will go to the box. Wilkland then a two minutes for roughing. Regrets on the penalty kill now. Before Sykes goes down low, and that just hops over Owen Parsons' stick. Owen Parsons cycles it down low. He still has it on the board, though. Owen Parsons in front of the net over Cole Ford. Cole Ford can't seem to bury it. And that is covered up by Nick Power. and volunteers for helping put this production together. Cole Lena with the puck, chips it off the boards over to Cole Ford. Ben Hudson now with the puck. Gets it into their offensive zone. Ben Hudson is trying to get a shot off here, but he just can't. He's killing off the penalty here now. Cycle down low to Cole Toms. Cole Toms behind the net now. Gets in front of the net. The puck is loose, and Gates Humphreys will get that puck. 51, 50 seconds left now in the power play. Yes. Dumps down and ices it. Oh, Parsons now trying to get out of his own zone. Shot on net. Ten seconds left now in the power play. They had maybe five, three or four shots on net, but nothing really happened in that power play. Red Devils takes it over the blue line. Try to get a shot at, but just can. And the Griff Rats just takes the puck from him again. Red Devils now trying to get something going, just can. not Griff Rats gets it out now. Ben Hutching racing. Ray Sullivan now with the puck. Gets it over. Wilkland now in his own zone. Just taking taking his time all the way around. And he's wheeling up the ice now. And he just loses it. He still has it. Red Devils trying to get the puck here now. Rats trying to get it up now. Red Devils just coming off a win, three to two, over the River Rats. Shot net. River Rats. Owen Snow coming up the ice. Still has it now, and he, and that will be icing on the River Rats. Rinse the face off draw. Cole Ford with the puck now, just loses it on the blue line. Will Clenny now sauces it over. Oh, 
Jordan Parsons breaks out of his own zone now. Over the blue line, and that is just offside. Sides on the Red Devils. Pull forward now. Takes in the offensive zone. Plays it back to the defense. Thomas just takes it, gets it up, but can't seem to get that pass through. Well, Thomas now with the puck again, just going around everybody today. with the puck now in their own zone. Owen Purse, Owen Snow with the puck now. Plays it. And that's taken away. Shawnet and just wide. With one minute remaining in the play, this game is pretty much out of reach for the Red Devils. Well, Tom's out with the puck behind his net. Ices it. Icing is called off here. Coach Leg now with the puck coming up. Cooper now. Puck taken away. In the dying seconds of this game. The River Rats lead this game, eight to three. Shawnet, and he does bury it to make it eight to four for the River Rats. With just 10 seconds remaining in this game. With a nice rebounder. like the River Rats will win this game. And they do see the spot to the championship game, I'm pretty sure. The final score of eight to four. All right.
early goal for Duran Pittman. Roadrunners. Rainbow passes it, but the picked off. They want to. Scramble behind the Roadrunner's net. River Rats just coming off an 8 to 4 win against the Red Devils. There goes Power. Over the line. Shoot. And misses the net. There goes Fisher, in on the... <laughs> Cole Tom's now bringing up the zone, breaks through, and that is just off sides. taking the face off for the road runners. Cole Tom's win the face off. Back to the D. Max Babcock now trying it out to Cole Tom's but just can't. Cole Scramble. Tom's now with the puck. Picked up by Landon Gale. There's icing on the River Rats. The River Roadrunners has an early lead now, one to nothing. Goal scored by Graham Pittman. For the River Rats, Nick Power in net. Starling goalie for the Roadrunners is Niall Tucker. There goes, back to Pittman. Picked off. Elliot dims it down the corner. Oh, he gets it back again. Gets it down to Graham Pittman. Graham Pittman cutting it over the circle. Cycles it back into Matthew Elliott in the corner. Shoots it out in front, but it's just tipped off the post. Owen oh, Snow now dumps it up the Max Babcock over to Cole Toms. Cole Toms picks it up. Gets through. And there goes Graham Pittman. Chips back up to Matthew Elliott. Going up the wall. Cuts to the middle. And gives it right to Owen Snow. Cole Toms now breaking out of his own zone. Coming through the other zone. Clubs gets through Roger Power. Still with the puck. And she's big save by Niall Tucker. Cole Tom still with the puck. Gets through every defenseman. Shot. Owen Snow. Down in the corner. Max Babcock picks up the puck. At the top of the Roger Power with the puck now. Up the wall. Skating with it. Still going, goes down wide, cuts in, shoots, scores! scores! Ryder Power with the first goal of his game. Ryder Power, coast to coast. Ryder Power with a nice shot, just tucks it over Nick Power's shoulder. Viking Burns chips it in, gets it picked off. Back to Ryan Ennis, but he coughs it up. Here comes Landon Gale getting tied up by Ryan Ennis. Reed Brown picks up the puck, dumps it around his own net. And it's back to Ryan Ennis, shoots it up the wall, tries to get it out. Ben Hutchings now with the puck through the neutral zone, gets a 1D, and shot, shot, 
Oh, oh, and that is just wide. Back up the wall, pass it to Landon Gale. Landon chips it around. The defenseman cuts in, down to the corner. Looking for a shot at pass in front, and he just Ben Hutchings with the puck now, coming out of his own zone. You, we have seen in early games that he does have good hands. Oh, and there goes Grant Pittman. He can ski, and he's gone. Round two, cuts to the middle, and oh, just fans on it. Will Tanzani now going up the ice. In the neutral zone now. Skating with it. Can't get past. Hucks it up and just on the back of the net there. Will Tanzani now with the puck. Shot. Saved. Michael Blake thumbs it down in the corner to Wolf Landing back out to Cole French in front, pass it back to the D. Dan Clendenning to French, picked off, and there goes Sam Fisher. Passes it up to Ben Tuff. Ben Tuff flying in the wing, cuts to the middle, shot Sam Fisher. Oh, nice save. River Rats now with possession. Shot and blocked by his own player. Battle down deep in the corner. Let it go, take the puck, dumps Chips it down. It and that will be an no ice waved off. Reed Brown now behind his own net. Going right. Right in that stops, pulls it back. And a hard battle there. And it is Sam Fisher who's, Matthew Elliott does come on top there. And there goes Cole French, but Landon Gale gets around him, pass it out in front of Matthew Elliott, shot and scores. Score. His first goal of the day. And it is 3-0 Roadrunners. In the middle of the second period, first period. Faceoff won by the Roadrunners, dump it. it down. There's Matthew Elliott behind River Rats net. Owen Snow with the puck, passes dump. it up to Max Badcock. Max Badcock, a Ryan Rodder power. He's wheeling down the middle, and it just gets picked off. Max Badcock still comes out with the puck. Landing Gale tripped up there, no call on the play. Right into Matthew Elliott, and he's flying, and he dumps it down in the corner. Owen Snow now with the puck behind his own net. Oh, and Snow now. And he passes it, but it's picked up by Ryder Power. And now he's coming around one to Pittman. Pittman still with it now, going behind the net. Pittman Cut. with great hands here. Down to the side of the net. Tries to pass it out in front, but it's picked off by Owen Snow. And there's... Reed Brown picks it off. Cole Toms Cole chips it ahead. Cole Toms. And Blake, Still with it. And Blake Young just is there to stop him. Cole Toms skate through everybody. Ryder Power picks it off. Max Babcock stole the puck. Gets in front of the net. In front. What a shot. But just missed. Back out to Graham Pittman. Graham he's Pittman. going. Oh, he's wheeling. Around one. Oh, and it's Ethan Pitcher there to stop him. Ben Hutchings now with the puck through the new zone. Chips it around one, around two, but it's down in the corner. And there comes Ben Hutchings, around one, picked off by Grant Pittman, but he still has it, shot on net, missed the net. Back out in front, no, goal there. Really saved by Niall Tucker to keep that one out. Grant Pittman now coughs up the puck behind his own net. Grant Pittman now. To the wall. Out. To Jack Penny. Jack Penny around one. Fobbles it. Ben Hutchings now skating up through his net. And Landon Gale is there to stop him. We have Simon Gillard going for the change, and out comes Ben Tuff. Ben Tuff picks it off, and he is going. Three. 
What a bad check by Lincoln Burns. Lana Gale now with the puck. Trying a shot off. Shot on net. Saved by Nicholas Power. Lincoln Burns now coming around his own net. Shot up. Cut by Sam Fisher. He's caught through the middle. Stops. Shot. Oh, and a nice save by Power in front of the net. Will Lenny now behind his own net. Back to pitcher. Stops it behind the net to Ennis. And then there's Michael Blake. Pass to Will Clendenning through the neutral drone. And he's going around the defenseman. And backhand. Oh, and a nice save by Tucker. Back out in front to Owen Snow. He's going to wind up for a slap shot. And a nice oh, shot. And, and just buries it under the bar. What a shot by Owen Snow to give the Roadrunners a And the River Rats are on the board. Three to one with 2.43 remaining in the first period. That was a tip. Watching the replay, that was a tip. And it was high sticking, but no call. Here comes Michael Blake, shot. Saved by Niles Hucker. Grant Pittman wins the draw. Back to the D. Down to Michael Blake. Grant Pittman battles him and takes the puck. Cuts behind his own net. Stops up. Goes around the boards. And a rainbow pass. Tries to get it to Lynch, but Lynch just couldn't pick it up. And then it gets to Owen Snow. He stops. Jukes him out. Passes it. Owen Snow now with the puck. Passes it over to Cole French. And he's wheeling. And Ryder Power just picks him off. Ryder Power, good battle. In the corner. And it is. And it's won by Graham Pittman. He is going to skate with it. And he no. is around one. No one's touching him. Around two. Toe drag. Oh, oh Jack Snow. Lynch there just to get the puck for him. And it's Graham Pittman. Graham Pittman curls back. Out in front. Oh, oh. He's picked off by Michael Blake. And now he skates through the neutral zone. Blake Young. Around Young. Oh, and he's just there. Young in the corner now with Blake. Passed out to Jack Lynch. He gets it Landing to Landing Gale. Gale. Landing Gale's going. Cole, Cole Toms, Toms now. Can't seem to find the puck. Max back out. Up to Cole Toms. Cole Toms, one on one. Around Kennedy, and he's going in for the shot. And, and he, he can't get off. Down in the corner now, big scrum, but it's out to Brown. Gillard chips it around Brown, and he's going on the races with Ennis, but Ennis beats him to the puck battle. Around his own net. Up to Jack Penny. Nobody can touch it. No icing there. Blake Young with the puck now behind his own net. Up the wall. Back to Young. Max Badcock wins the battle and gets it down behind their net. Sean McKinnon now can't seem to get the puck. Fifteen seconds left in the first period. And there is Landon Gale. Can't seem to get the puck. Landon Gale He's just going. It. Oh, and that and is just offsides with seven seconds left in this period. Trying to get a shot off here. Face off win by Graham Pittman. And here comes Sam. Shot. Just wide. And, and that will be the first period. period. With a three to one lead, Roadrunners. River Rats. Their magic is gone from last game.
There's Grant Pimmon with it behind his own net. Stops, goes around his net again. Been He's touching his balls. Pat, skating with it. Now is Grant Pimmon. No one's gonna touch him. And he goes in, shot, nope. Cuts around him and puts it down in the corner. Back in front, picked off. And there goes Grant Pittman with it again. Dumps it back down in the corner. Reed Brown can't seem to get there first. He dumps it all the way around. Pinches it in bent off. Out muscle to the puck. And there's Owen Snow there to chip it out of the zone. And there goes Ben Hutchings. And Roadrunner's defenseman is there to pick it off. It's offside, delayed. Chipped it down to Sam Fisher. Reed Brown comes in over the blue line. Trying to get a shot on net, just can't. Tips it from the net. And there goes Landon Gale. Up the wall. Wheeling. Cole Tom takes it away from him. Michael Blake going down with the puck. Out muscling everybody. Dumps it down in the corner to Will Clendenning. Will Gets Clendenning it back. Now. Back down in front again, and there's a big scrum down in the corner. But Oakland is down. Murphy gets the puck behind his own net, passes it up the boards to Matthew Elliott. Matthew Elliott chips it in the neutral zone, gets it back to himself, cuts him wide. And Miguel from the net to Matthew Elliott. Ooh. He can't seem to get that puck there. Well, then he tried to take the puck away from him. And there goes Land Gale and shot shoots it on net and there goes from the change. With his speed getting to the puck first. And there's Jonah that Kennedy and Ryder Pacing on the River Rats. Face I win, River Rats, but Matthew Elliott is there to pick it up. Owen Snow now with the puck behind his head. Dumps it around. Playing again now. Dumps it out to Ryder Power. Shot, Shot. on net. And, it is and a that nice is just wide. Save. And there's Owen Snow with it. Skating with it. Over to Boulon. Tries to get it to Cole Toms. Tom. Just, just jumps over stick. Big battle. Landon Gale and Max Badcock go in the corner for it, but Max, Max Badcock comes out on top. Dumps it back down in the corner. There's Rodder Power to pick it up. Goes around his own net. Up the boards, Matthew Elliott. Not there to pick it up, but chips at the zone, and there goes Landon Gale on a two-on-one. Landon and Gale and Lynch. Landon shoots, just not enough. Lynch now trying to get the puck, but just out muscled by Owen. Matt Bender ices it, but ice is waved yeah. off, and there's Young then behind his own net. But Tom's forcing. Tom picks up the puck in behind the net. Tries to get it in front, but there's Kennedy there to pick it up. There's Reed, Reed Brown. Brown. Can't seem to take, keep it in. And there goes Sam Fisher. Jonah Kennedy dumps the puck down. Ben Hutchins with back it to Ben Hutchins. Over to Ennis. Ennis chips it up. Oh, it's not there. And there goes Grant Pippen. Grant Pippen comes in. Goes around them all, tries to get around Brown, but it's just not there. Tries to blow over, can't seem to get it there. Puts it down behind their net. Him and Brown are fighting for it, but he comes out on top. And there's Simon Gillard. Passes it back to Graham Pittman. Not there, though. Brian Ennis. Picking up some speed, tries to chip it around Pittman, but just couldn't. There goes Reed Skinner ben to Ben Hutchings. Toe drag around Young. Back into Lake and Burns. And it's just poked away by Kennedy. Ennis with the puck now. 
Dumps it down low. Kennedy. Behind his own net. Don't know if that's a safe play, but does it anyway. Puts it back up to Simon Gillard. Ryan Ennis just there to stop it. Grant Pittman now with the puck. That's poked away. Gillard tried to dump it, but don't think it worked. And now Grant Pittman curls back, picks it up, goes in over the zone. Shot. Fan Fans on the up. shot, and Ryan Ennis that will go all the way down dumps the it. Net. And there's Murphy, picks it up in front of the net. And he passes it up to Gillard. Gillard, three on oh. And they, they mess it up on the blue line. They can't seem to get it up. Tries to get it through the neutral zone, but he does get it through. There's Michael Blake. Landon Batchick hard and gets that puck away. And dumps it down the corner. There's Murphy. Rims it around the boards. Tries to get it to Gale, but gets it to Blake instead. There's Blake. Back down to French. French coming out. And oh, it's just up the post. And it's been tough. French down in the corner with Clendenning. Clendenning circles that around, passes it back to Pitcher. Pitcher to Muse. Muse shot. Oh, oh the team can't tuck it in. There's French. Wins around in that shot. Missed. There's Murphy. Rims up around the boards and just gets it at his own. And there goes Ben Tuff. He's brawled. And oh, just misses Still it. Still has it, though. Tries to get it to Fisher, but Fisher misses it. And there goes Blake and Clint Denning. And French on a three on two. Sausage to Clint Denning. Oh, Landon Gale, Gale with a hard bash check. And Will Clint Denning still with it. Oh, and oh, French with the back check. And there's Kennedy with the dump it back down. And Carter Edgy. Snow. Over to Jensen Bork. Chips it to Cole Tobbs. But Graham Pittman's just there to pick it up. Graham Pittman passes it up to Jack Lynch. Picked off by Snow. Offside. And it, offside. And there's Graham Pittman. Around Badcock. Around Tobbs. And he is flying. Around Snow. In front, and it just missed the net. Well, Tom's now three on one. Pass to Max. Back, 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 back. Oh, and a nice save by Edgy. Snow now keeps it in. Snow now. Oh, wide over the shot, but Jack Lynch is just there to get that puck. Back to Brown. Brown chips it up to Badcock. Badcock chips it to Cole Toms. Oh, and Rotter Power is just there to Matthew stop now. it. Tries to toe drag, but Reed Brown is there to stop him. And now he goes up ice with it. Max back. Cole Toms out with the puck in his own zone. They did change. That's Badcock now. Reed Skinner going down. Blake Young chips it around the boards. But it's picked off by Lake and Burns, and he chips it back down behind the net. Skinner trying to get it up. There's Lake and Burns. From the net. Oh, Grant, Grant Pippen, Pippen and he is oh, flying. He stops, slows down, slap shot. Ooh, and it just goes over the net. I think Denji got a piece on it, though. Land to Gale. Shot from the net. To Elliott, shot, missed the net. And it is dumped down to Reed Skinner, Skinner. and he is flying. He through. Picked off. And now, River Rats. Lake and Burns with it. Burns kicks it to himself. Scramble. Ben Hutchings can't seem to keep the puck. He has it pinned. Ethan Pitcher chips it to Ben Hutchings. And is picked off by Kennedy. Burns. Oh. 
scale. Random Shot drop back. pass. Back to Simon Gillard. When Gill gets it again. Shot and a nice and that is glove covered save. Up. With two minutes to go in the second period. The Roadrunners have a three to one lead over the Rink Rats. French. There's Gale. Regrouping. Pass. All the way up. But All the way to Simon Giller, but it's Ennis dumped back. Evidently plays it. Not sure if that was the play there. There's Gale. Picked up by Blake. And there goes Ryan Ennis. He's wheeling. And he is skating, cuts wide, goes around Fisher, Stop. shoots. Nice save by Edgy with a blocker. Clendenny now. Clendenny wheels around the circle, Over back in front. And Edgy just covers it up for the whistle. Scramble in front. Him, it's not heavy about that. Cole Toms is lying out to finish off the period, I think. Dale be out against Pittman's line. Tom's shot. off the face off shot and, and just Babcock. missed wide. Babcock now keeps it. Pulls on the board. Pittman, he's gone. He's going all the way. Three up one here. Goes around him. Looking for the pass in front. Goes around the Don't net. Don't get it. Goes around the net. Three men on him. Dumps it back down into the corner. 35 seconds remaining. Pass in front to Ben Tuff, and he just fanned on it. There's Rodder Power. Rodder Power cuts back to the middle. Picked off by Backhawk. Backhawk chips it at the zone. Back to Toms. Toms. And there's Power. Picked off by Bork. Bork comes around, shoots, and just misses. Here. Shot. Owen Snow blocked by Ben Tuff. And then he gets it back again. Slap shot. Ooh. And missed the net. tried to the and fail now. And that is the end of the period with a three to one lead. Face-off win by the Roadrunners. 
There's Matthew Elliott with a little toe drag, but there's Ben Hutchings trying to get through them all, but Jack Lynch is there to stop him. Young chips it up to Gale. Gale cutting in. Reed Brown is there to stop him, but he gets around him still. Ben Hutchings comes in, picks it off. Ryan Ennis down behind his own net, down in the corner, chips it out of the zone. That would be an ice. Waved off, actually. Jonah Kennedy back behind his net to pick it up. Brims it around the boards. Lynch tried to get it. There's Gale skating up for the second time of this shift. Cuts to the middle. Shoots. Saved by Evan Benzie. Denning's line out the, for the second shift of this period. Face off won by Clen Denning, dumps it down the corner to Muse. Muse goes behind his own net, looking for an outlet, doesn't see anybody, but he passes it up the middle to Michael Blake, and there he goes. Slap shot, nice save with the glove. In the corner of Blake. Blake shoots it out in front. And there's passes it up to Jack Penny. But there goes Michael Blake. Gets around him. Jack Penny on the back check. Michael Blake with the backhand. And a, what a shot! Backhand by Michael Blake up in the top left corner. by Michael Blake. And he is happy about that one. As they're one goal away from tying up this game with 10.38 left in the third period. Pittman wins the draw. Dumps it down the corner. Pittman, hard four check. And he hooks up Owen Snow, but he wins a battle. And there it comes. Simon Giller down in the corner, rims it around the boards to Jack Penny. Jack Penny's gonna dump it back to Pittman. Tom's there getting a little physical. There's Owen oh. Snow getting it up the board to Badcock. Power pinches behind his net. Back in front to no one. There's Jonah Kennedy. Power Chase Toll, sorry. Dumps it down the, behind the net. There's Jack Penny there to pinch it off. Out in front of no one. Cole Tom is wheeling now. Pass to Badcock. Badcock back to Tulk and pinches it off by Bork. That is out of play. There's Gale and Hutchings to take the face off. Trying to set something up here. Hutchings wins the face off. Back to pitcher. Pitcher dumps it in the zone. There's Got Young. Him. Up to Tough. Tough. Tries to chip it out around, but just get it pinched. And there goes Lake and Burns. Shot. Bent just wide. Bent off now with the puck behind his own net. Down in the corner to Ben Hutchings. Tries to put it through Fisher's leg, but just couldn't. Fisher chips it out. Then Ethan Pitcher is there to chip it back in. And there's Sam Fisher in the corner behind the net. To Young. Young tries to up. Young, long stretch pass, picked off by Pitcher. 
And there is Sam Fisher with it again. Loops around, around one, around two, and he is going. And there, oh, oh tries to get the. Still can't pick it up. Tough, it it will now? be onside, onside, tough to Gale. Gives it away. Gale, Gale tries to put up. it down in the corner, but back to Kennedy. Ryan Ennis with the puck now, skating up. Passes it over to Lake and Burns. Lake and Burns around Gale, comes into the center of the ice, goes around one, and there's Kennedy to stop him. Pivot on the way. Around Muse, cuts in for the shot, and backhand, what a, what a save, save by Evan Denti. Oh my. And there goes Ben Hutchings, cuts it up by Landon Gale. Landon Gale skating in, around, um, back to Matthew Elliott, shot, shot. missed the net. Landon behind the net, out to Pittman, shot. Nice save by Denti. Pittman, calling out. Well. Gets it back to Gale. Gale, Gale. gets it back ahead. to Pittman. Pittman around two, made them bang into each other, but it's back to Murphy, and Murphy tries to dump it in, but Michael Blake is there to pick it up. I was like, around one. Tries to do something, but fools it up. There's the French, French with the shot. It's it. Michael Blake to Murphy. Elliott passes it to Muse, but then it dumps back in the corner. There's Murphy. And Elliot getting tangled up along the boards. And Muse is there to keep it in. And there's Clendenning. Passes it down to French. Oh, and French with a nice shot there. Stopped by Kyra Edgity. To Ryan Ennis with the shot blocked. There's Blake down in the corner fighting for the puck. Clendon he comes out with it. Run out to French. Big scramble in front of the net. And they manage to keep it out with the Roadrunners about to get a penalty. Who will it be? Gale is not happy about that. Ryder Power will be going to the box. Two minutes. Be for and that will be contact. for body contact. Oh, I do not understand how that didn't go in. Power not happy with that penalty. Power play for the River Rats. What will they come up with? Then he's on out there. Tundeni, Badcock, and Blake. With Ennis and Brown on D for the power play. Over to Brown. Brown steps in, Shot. fires. Ooh, nice save by Edgy. And there's Blake. Blake. Corner rotating. And there's Young Can't. to stop that. But then the ref tangles it up. And there's. Oh, delayed offside. 141 remaining in this power play to the River Rats. Face off one by Babcock. Back to Babcock. Over to Blake. Blake with it now. Tries to get it in deep. And there's Gale to cut him off. There's Gale going around the defenseman. And there's Ennis with the hard back check. And there's Ennis. Oh, what a shot by Gale. But Edgy shuts it down. Landon with the wraparound. Hits Blake. the post. With the puck now going up, breaking Just out. There's a round Young down in the corner. Passes it. Goes around the net still. Cuts it down to the corner. Gale keeps him in there. Pinning him in. Time off the clock. With 58 seconds remaining in the power play. And there's Blake. Back to the defense. Pitcher chips it back in. To Clendenning. Clendenning. 
Cuts it back. Tries to get it out in front. And again. Get out in front of Blake. And here's Pittman cutting it off, and he's gone. Around one, around two, but here's Pitcher picked him off, and there goes Badcock. Picked off pass by Sam Fisher. Over to Pittman. Pittman around one. one. Backhand. Oh, and just, just over the net. Hutchings with puck still. Get Whoa. the puck. And here he goes. Oh, missed the net. Hutchings, slap shot. Saved by Carter Edgerty. Off. Back to the D. Owen Snow with the slap shot. Max Badcock there to tip it, but just misses. Penalty expired. Ben Tuff. Oh, just that that missed the pass. <laughs> Here's Gale in the take the face off. Against Ben Hutchings. Four minutes left in this game with a three to two lead. Roadrunners chips it out to Landon Gale and he is going. Two on one with Tuff. Three on one with Tuff and Fisher. Oh, and just misses it. And there's power, gets it back in deep to Tuff. Tuff around the net, out to Gale. Gale shoots. And nice save by Denty. Power. Down in the corner, Lane out Gale. to Gale. Gale's gonna shoot it on net. Trying to get a rebound. And Fisher chipped it back in. Power. Power down in the corner with it now. Slows it down. Kicks it to Gale. Gale out front and no one is there to jam it Three home. Three left in this Fisher, game. Skinner picks it off. Fisher out to Hutchings and there's Power. Power cutting back. Out to Gale, and Gale's jamming away at it, and Ben Hutchings would do not like that. Gale, not happy about that. Pump is not covered. With 3.21 left, I wonder if the River Rats will get something going to tie up this game. Nettie signs out. They have shown up this game. Shot on net, Evnetti. And it's now. Rims around the board, but it's picked off by Jack Lynch. Jack Lynch getting it down to the corner. Elliot there. Can't pick it up, but it's bounced right out in front. And Jonah Kennedy is there to slap shot. Matthew Elliott rims around. Saved by Evidenti. It's a very close game here. Face off one by Clendenning, back to Ennis, and there's Young trying to chip it out, but there Clendenning goes Clendenning. Over the blue line. And he is flying. Run through. Round the net. No pass in front of the net. Chips it around Lynch, but he's there to pick it up. Puts pass. it behind his own net, the Young. Young with it now, chips it up the boards to Elliott. Elliott not gonna pass the puck. Up. There goes Pittman. Down in the corner with Pitcher. Pitcher rims around the board, but Elliott's there to pick it up. Out to get Blakeman. And there's Michael Blake. Chipped it up to French. French skating down. Trying to get around him. Gets around him. And a big pass to Clendenning. Shot on that. Tip to hit the pipe. Oh, 
Let it now. It's Blake. Swan. Let it now. Try and get the puck. Minute 40 left in the Come third in. period. Blake. Three to two, Roadrunners. Scramble in front. Goal! Oh, they score! Cool Michael. front! Michael Blake with the tie goal of this game. 132 left in the third period, and it's Michael Blake. The whistle should have been blown, but the puck was somewhere. It was Will Clendenning, actually. And there goes Pittman. Stick lift on Ennis. Back to Mercer. And Toms is there trying to get it out, but Reed wow. Brown gets it out. Minute 19 left in this hockey game. And there's Gale with the puck, skating up ice. He got man on. Gets it. Oh, Reed Brown is there to shut the door. Mercer. Cross picked off. Gale trying to pick that off there. Pittman wraps around the neutral zone and he is going for a skate. Ooh. And that will be a penalty on Reed. With Cole Thomas is going to the box with 46 seconds left. This will give the Roadrunners some momentum. What will they do with this power play? Gail wins the face off. Back to Murphy, shoots. Ooh, just tipped away there by Denty. And dump it down the ice. And there's Murphy. Rims it around his own net with 20 seconds left to go in this game. And there's Power trying to chip it out. There's Pittman with 15 seconds left. And this game is basically over. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and that will that do it. The hockey game, three. three, three tie, and the River Rats on the day have one win, one loss. The Road Runners have a loss and a tie, and the Red Devils have a loss and a win. Let's see what will happen for tomorrow, folks.
comment about this program, we'd love to hear it. Email or call us or send us your feedback through social media. It isn't the heavy trays that make the job difficult or the fast pace you need to keep up. It's not working another double because someone called in sick. What makes the job tough is the moment you realize a customer has had enough and you have to make that decision not to overserve. Refusing service isn't personal, it's the law. We know it's not easy, but we're counting on you to keep us all safe. Thank you, servers, for doing the tough job. Looking for the best way to get the Major League Baseball games you want to watch? Rogers Super Sports Pack has you covered. With MLB Extra Innings, you'll have a premium ticket to out-of-market regular season games with all games available in HD. Don't miss the action from the games you want from both the American and National Leagues. MLB Extra Innings, part of the Super Sports Pack. For only $35.95 a month, Rogers customers get all this for one all-inclusive price. Order using your remote starting on Channel 431 or visit Rogers.com today. Was that four or five? He's lost count and still thinks he can drive. Do you think he knows that when he is caught and charged with impaired driving, he'll lose his license and a lot more? If he gets in his car, he'll face costs exceeding $20,000. Does he realize he could have a criminal record for his choice to drive? And it could be much worse if he crashes. I wonder what he'll be thinking tomorrow. I'm four. Have a hold one at one five. Visit ArrivaLive.org to find out more. Arrive Alive. Drive sober. Welcome to Let's Get Writing. I'm your host, Katherine Taylor. I'm coming to you live from central Newfoundland, Canada. Let me know where you're watching from. Let's Get Writing is all about the writing process from creation to publication. And here is where we share the stories behind the stories and bring life to books. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Katherine Taylor TV and we'll keep you informed of all our new episodes and guests. Now, my guest this week studied literature at university, attaining both a BA and an MA in English. And she also included a study program at Oxford in there as well. She attained a degree in journalism from King's College in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and after traveling the globe for several years and working in an array of mostly writing-related jobs, she decided the time had come to focus on her true love, which is novel writing. So I'd like you to join me in welcoming Charlene Carr to the show. Hi. Hi, Charlene. How are you today? Doing very well, thank you. <laughs> so happy to nice. be here. <laughs> and I'm happy to have you here. Well, I mean, I love the idea of all the traveling you did, but you have finally settled in, mm -hmm. in Halifax, Nova Scotia. <laughs> but not without spending five years here in Newfoundland, which was where I first became familiar with you. Um, how was our writing community here on the Rock? It was great. So supportive. Um... I can't remember who I first met or how I got involved, but once I did, I just felt like I was welcomed with open arms, and I learned so much from the writing community there. Yeah, we have a very robust uh, writing community, and I'm constantly surprised by the number of people who show up with books and who are on my show, and uh, it's amazing. It just it, it seems like there's no end to it. I had no idea when I started. No idea. <laughs> Now, um, you said your true love is uh, novel writing, and um, you know, I was thinking it might be your husband, but okay. <laughs> Career-wise, when it comes to work. <laughs> I understand. Uh, okay, so you have said that, and I really wanted to ask you about that. You've, you've uh, published independently nine novels, and which is really an imp very impressive. We all know how much work goes into a book. And now you have your first agented novel, Hold My Girl, which is sold to HarperCollins Canada. So again, so very impressive. And also Wellback Publishing in the UK and Alma Latera in Lithuania. 
Uh, just amazing. And it's set for adaptation to TV by Blink Studios in partnership with Groundswell Productions. Hello. <laughs> I just want to know so much more about this. This must have been an amazing year for you to have this happen. Um, it has been, and actually it's been overwhelming. Um, it was last spring that I secured my agent, and then we only took the book on submission in October. And so all these deals came in the span of just two to three months, which was unexpected and... Uh, just thrilling. <laughs> I imagine it was. And I mean, once you, once you had those decisions to make, and I mean, even the process of finding your agent must have been really quite something because that's, that's an issue that a lot of writers struggle with. How can I get an agent? And it's almost like a catch 22. What, what was that process like for you? So I think once I actually sat down and made this my focus, it, wasn't that catch-22 that I thought it would be. You know, a lot of authors think, and I certainly thought, that in order to get an agent, you needed to already be published traditionally, whether it be for a novel or a short story collection or, you know, stories in literary magazines. And once I actually started doing the research, I learned that a lot of agents are very excited to take on the work of new authors because when you're a debut, a debut author, you don't have that track record of maybe poor sales or maybe poor reviews. You're new and you're fresh and you're exciting and they can um, sell you that way. And so I was a little concerned that my public, my um, independently published books would hurt me in that, but they didn't seem to. There were a couple of agents who were a little concerned about it. The one I went with saw it as a sign that I knew how to write a book. I knew how to get it done and that I had really great reviews. So there were definitely readers out there who wanted to see my stories. <laughs> Well, from my way of looking at it, I would think by the fact that you had so many self-published books would be an endorsement that you were capable of writing books and not just one um, would be a good thing. And I suppose any agent, if, I mean, if they're looking for raw talent, someone that they can discover and mold. So I hadn't thought of it that way, but that's, a, that's pretty encouraging. <laughs> Now let's go back to your indie period. We're gonna we're, we're we are going to talk about Hold My Girl in more detail, but I want to talk about that indie period, how you got started, and how you wrote those nine books. What was what was that all about? So the first full length novel that I wrote took me about ten years, <laughs> uh, lots of different versions, lots of different revisions, and that is not the first novel that I um, indie published. Uh, for that one, I had sent it out to a few local publishers, maybe three or four, and I'd had really encouraging feedback, but they said it just wasn't the right fit for what they were publishing at that time. And some of these really small publishers, they were only putting out one or two fiction books a year. And so when that happened, I thought, okay, I'm not writing what people want. And I'd only ever read books that you study in university, basically. You know, I've read on my own, of course, but those were the types of books I'd read. I'd never read any kind of commercial fiction. And I could tell that what I was writing, that book, although I, I love it and I think it's wonderful and, um, you know, has a lot of depth, it wasn't quite the same style of book that you're going to study in the university course or in high school. And so I just didn't know where my books fit. And it wasn't until a friend encouraged me, really kind of made me promise to, to try indie publishing. And I did that. I wrote a new book for that and got into it and started learning and started reading the other books that were out there that I realized, oh, this is what I'm writing. And so I think most of my other books would fall under the category of women's fiction. And that's something I'd never specifically read before. Um, I love character-driven stories. And that's what all of my books are. And you know, I have the, the plot structure there as well. And, it, and it's just something that until I got into it, I didn't know what readers I was writing for. Yeah, and, and, I, and I sometimes think that you're, you weren't alone with that. I think many writers struggle with who is my audience mm -hmm. and what is my style of, of writing and, and going out there and trying to figure that out. Sometimes it is a matter of reading a lot of other books. Women's fiction is a huge category and um you know we know that we see those books everywhere and uh, you know trying to find even your spot in there 
is is not the easiest thing. But I did I did pull um, I went on to your website and I did pull a comment and it says here I highly recommend these books for anyone looking to escape for a few hours, not to a perfect world but to the real world with all of its joys and pains. And that was a one of your Goodreads um, reviews. So tell me a little bit about this world you take us into with your books. Uh, I think I'm a realist in a lot of ways. And although, you know, if it comes to something that I'm consuming in a much shorter form, like a movie, I'm very happy with, I don't know, you know, those happily ever romances. But when it comes to a book, I've always really gravitated toward things that feel real. And, you know, I, I don't shy away from pain and hardship and the things in life that all of us deal with and that help us grow. And I, and I find a sense of catharsis from that, both in my reading and my writing. And so when I write a book, I don't shy away from the hard things. And I try to create characters who feel like the people that we know in our own lives. And, and that has to then include the really hard times too. And I think yeah. a lot of my re uh, readers have really connected to that. A lot of the reviews I get talk about how it's raw, how it's real. Um, and again, is, is that when you quoted, uh, said that it, it doesn't shy away from the hard times in life. Yeah. And and there's been joy and hope too, though. <laughs> Well, you know, and maybe that I, I think as we chatted earlier that that might have been part of what brought your book that's going to come out in 2023, Hold My Girl, um, you know, to the interest of agents. Let's let's go back to that. And um, that story um, and many of your other stories, I think sometimes there are, are pieces of you in there as well. Um, and tell us a little bit about the story, Hold My Girl, as much as you can. We don't want to take away from, <laughs> Absolutely. from anything. Yeah. So um, this was the first book I've written since I became a mother. And I realized very quickly that trying to be an author and an indie publisher is a lot harder when you have a very demanding baby. And so I wrote this book specifically trying to find um, an agent. It's the first time I'd ever looked for an agent uh, query. And I knew I needed to write something that would really hit the pulse of our times and appeal to a lot of people. And so infertility is something that I've gone through myself. And when my daughter was born, I was genuinely concerned. She's through, we, she was conceived through IVF that there might have been a mistake and she might not be mine. Now, I have no worries anymore, but in those first four, three to four months, I, I was a little concerned. And so when I sat down around the time when she was a year old to write this book to find an agent, that's what really stuck in my mind because there are so many women who go through similar things, whether they actually have IVF or just infertility, and that may be something they're considering, that the question was there, like, what would you do if the child you gave birth to was never truly yours? And this is a question that didn't exist in many previous generations. There would never be a situation where a mother would not know if the child she gave birth to was hers. Now there are switched at birth stories, but not the child that you actually grew in your womb. And I think, you know, the agents, the editors, it seemed like a fresh idea to them and something very real and something very applicable for today's society. And they thankfully latched onto it. And I hope readers do too. Well, I, I think like you say, it's something that's very current. So many people are dealing with, with IVF these days. And it's quite conceivable that, you know, a mistake can happen, something it, like this. It does. Cool. It, is. <laughs> it has. <laughs> Not with you, thankfully, but uh, it has happened with a number of people. Yeah. And so when you wrote this book and you were specifically looking for an agent, how, how did that process go? How did they respond? And, um, you know, what happened? Um, oh, that could be a long story. <laughs> I try to make it succinct. Uh, yeah, I mean, I did a lot of research into queries and how to prepare your query and make sure that it's very solid, um, something that would catch an agent. And I did get a lot of responses. I think my biggest drawback was the book was longer than was standard for a women's fiction novel. And I think that, you know, made a number of agents uncertain. But when I did start to get some extreme interest, it was great. And I was in a situation where I was choosing between agents, <laughs> which is amazing because all the time you're like, pick me, pick me. And then suddenly the tables mm. turned and they're saying, 
pick me. <laughs> so that was fun and exciting. And I'm so thrilled with the agent that I got. And um, that agency is really focused on um, dramatic rights. So be that film or television or the stage. Uh, I think film and television is, is their main focus. And so that was part of my decision and something that I'm so glad I was focused on <laughs> when I was choosing an agent. Well, it's all, it, it is very exciting. It's almost like a dream come true story when I hear you talk about it. I get goosebumps thinking <laughs> you know, how excited you must have been to have these things unfolding because it's really a, a dream of many writers to have something like this happen. Now, your, cause your agent, I, I said to you, is your agent is here in Canada? <laughs> no. No, where is your agent? She's in London, UK. Yeah. Now, how did that? How did that hook up? It just was happened that you submitted there. Uh, basically, yeah. When I started looking for agents or deciding to, what actually put me on the path to finding an agent were some author friends who were agented, and their agents were in the U.S. And that had never occurred to me to look for an agent outside of Canada. As I said, I hadn't started to look yet, but. If I had, before talking to them, I would have thought that I was limited to Canada. And so once those doors were opened, I started researching sites like MS Wishlist and Query Tracker and just figuring out what agents would be most suitable for the type of stories that I write. And this story specifically, which um, I think would best fall under the category of upmarket. And so I sent to a number of agents and... This agent, uh, Haley Steed from the Madeline Milburn Agency, is one of the ones who got back and was very interested. And once I started digging in more, I just, and a few calls with her, I knew she was the right fit for not only this book, but for where I want to see my career. And what happened then? Okay, you had your agent, and how did the whole um, deal come um, for the uh, series? What well, um so we went through a number of months of revision, and then when we sent it on submission, we had an overnight preempt, which just blew my mind. Um, so if those who don't know, that's when an editor offers a significant amount so that no other editors can bid on the book. Um, and then maybe not even a month after that, um, the dramatic rights agent at MM Agency got notice that we had an offer for a option for a TV show <laughs> and we hadn't she hadn't sent it out yet so our best guess is that um, one of the editors sent my manuscript to a book scout who sent it on to the production company and it kind of went from there once we had that one offer um, the agency sent it out to other producers and we were in a five-way bidding war which was absolutely mind-blowing I shouldn't say war but competitive <laughs> bidding situation <laughs> Wow. Well, uh, congratulations. I think yeah. that I haven't said that and it should be said. That's amazing. And really, you said that you felt that maybe all this was based on the strength of your manuscript. Would, would you stand by that? Absolutely. I mean, that's what the agents are, or the producers are um, basing their interest in the story on. And so uh, I guess if you're, if you're kind of asking what authors need to do is the strongest manuscript you can possibly have. Um, you know, I spent three years on this one and then an additional, well, I guess two and a half years, then an additional six months with my agent. And I've been finding an editorial agent is really important too. Um, mm -hmm. I think my story was wonderful the way I submitted it to my agent and I still think it is, but I also think that she knew how to help me shape it and mold it to be something that would be more marketable and that would hopefully appeal to the widest uh, audience possible. And the way that we shaped it, I think, is a big part of why it did appeal to the producers. Um, because sure. right now, I, I remember uh, seeing a post from another agent actually saying that authors in today's world have to compete to a degree with streaming companies, with streaming shows, mm -hmm. because when someone's coming home, you know, and deciding what they're going to do for their free time, it's, are you going to pick up a book or are you going to stream a show? And so um, if making a living from your writing is something that you want to do, I think it can be wise to kind of have that in mind, to, to write a book that is going to draw the reader in and keep them turning the pages. And how did you feel when the, the agent was taking you through that process of the editing? You, you put a lot into it. And, 
at what point do you feel like I, I, I you know, I can't do this again? Did you ever feel like that, or, or did she offer very tangible things that you could? Oh, obviously, she did. Uh, those days came. Um, you know, yeah. there there were some times when I was ranting and raving to myself and pacing the kitchen, and um, you know, thankfully, I had the foresight to to always sit with the changes myself for a few days. Um, and I think in every situation, I could always see why she was suggesting the sh changes that she made and how um, they would help the book sell. And yeah, I think anyone going through that process, sit with the changes, even if there's some things that you don't agree with, um, think through them. And I, I mean, I do believe my agent was excellent in the sense that she always said, it's your book. You know, mm -hmm. these are suggestions. It's your story. It's your book. And most of the time, I mean, I think when it came down to it, I, I took every change, but sometimes I changed it in a way that was my own rather than what would have been her, her initial suggestion. Um, but yeah, just take time. You know, you know, don't write no, back. Don't say this is ridiculous. <laughs> like I never did anything like that. I've heard of authors who do. Take yeah. time and sit with it. And if you chose this agent for a reason, then presumably you trust their their taste. Well, and, trust was the word that came to mind as yeah. you were saying all of this, and you've put your heart and soul in the book, and someone is challenging some of the directions you've gone in or making suggestions. You have to put a lot of trust in them that they know their business that they're taking you in the right way yeah mm. well i mean five years from now if you're with that agent that would be a whole different relationship i, I hope to be with her for yeah. 20 <laughs> you I never know when, when you're choosing an agent i mean that happens and my hope was someone who i could spend my career with and you know whether that will happen or not who knows she could go in a different direction but that's my hope yeah amazing so Sh shelly you mentioned that how at this time you know, it's a choice. People can pick up a book. People can go on Netflix or Prime or wherever it is that they go. And sometimes it's easier to do that. If they come home and they've had a stressful day, um, just turn something on and sit in front of it. And a book requires a little more engagement mm -hmm. and focus. Um, but yet there's such an opportunity right now for writers to get books that are actually going to be produced. What's your take on that? There has never been a better time for authors to have that opportunity. And, you know, my goal was never to have my book made into a TV or show or a movie for the sake of it. It's to get more readers, um, to ensure that I can continue writing for years and years to come. And right now with streaming companies, they're all competing with each other. They all need content. And so what happened with me, a book being optioned before it's even been published because you know that wouldn't have been happening 10 years ago if it did it would have been extremely rare and now it's not so rare because the producers know that these stories have already been vetted by agents by editors um and it's you know the opportunity gets even greater once they're vetted by readers but they're they're trusting those agents and editors on these stories and they're seeing the value themselves and because of all that com competition and streaming companies needing to create shows, there's a better chance of these options actually getting made and the show's going to screen than there ever has been before. So, you know, fingers crossed, but I'm very hopeful and optimistic that we'll, we'll see Hold My Girl on the screen in, uh, in future years. <laughs> oh, well, well, I'm sure everyone watching this program is hoping that too, because you've really, you've really intrigued us and it's, it's such a great concept and such a great idea. Um, okay, so that's the wonderful success story, but what's the typical day like for you, Charlene? You still have to get up and write. What's, what's your day like, and, and how do you approach your writing? With all of this going through your head, are you working on another book? Yeah, um, so my deals with the publishers refer to book deals. So this is, I'm now writing uh, the next book and it's the first time I've ever written a book with a deadline that I didn't set. So that is definitely a new experience. Um, I write five days a week and I have a specific word count that I try to get um, each time to make it, you know, so I know my first draft will be done when it needs to be. Uh, 
I'm basically a full-time mom to a very rambunctious four-year-old who it's possible you can hear in the background. (laughs) Um, And yeah, so honestly, it's just trying to fit in in when I can. Sometimes I write in the morning if she's, you know, having some screen time. Um, She loves talking to my mother on webcam portal. That's what she's doing right now. So sometimes I fit my writing in then and sometimes I do it after she goes to bed. And I just have it in my mind to sit down to write. And so when I wrote the last book, she was a baby and much more demanding. And I had to really lower my goals, 300 words. And if I could sit down and write 300 words, then I just said, you know what? That's 300 words I didn't have yesterday. And you just keep going and you move forward. Um, yeah. <laughs> and your best advice for, for anyone watching and who's saying, gosh, I wish, I know how much time you dedicated to this, to do all those nine books and figuring out, as you've told us your journey, this is not an overnight success story by by any means it 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 really has been a process and it's so nice to see where you are now um you know what's your best advice for someone who's thinking gee i'd love to do what charlene did you can't edit a blank page would be my best advice get the words down don't be afraid if they're not what you want them to be um because you can make them what you want them to be and also don't feel that you need hours and hours to write. That used to be such a crutch for me. And that's why it took me 10 years to write my first book. I thought I needed a day where I had four to seven hours, just sit down and write, but you can write in 15 minutes. You know, this, um, hold my girl. Honestly, sometimes that's what, if I had 15 minutes before my daughter woke from her nap or she was a horrible sleeper, (laughs) um, you know, I would write and I would get it done. And sometimes you sit down and you think I'm going to write for 15 minutes and you're able to go for an hour because life works out like that. But if this is a dream and it's something you want to do, don't let life get in the way. Make the time and know that if it's in small chunks, they add up eventually and you can create something that can change your life. (laughs) And more importantly, uh, (laughs) that readers will love and that will bring them joy and excitement and, you know, learning or growth. And I think that's where it, 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 it resonates from you. I can see it in your eyes, in your face, your expressions. When you talk about writing, it comes right back down to you wanted to, to be a writer. That was, that was what you wanted to do most. Mm-hmm. And, and it's evident. And I love all your books behind you. There's quite a few there. <laughs> I haven't, uh, I, I'm going to put some up in the stream so people can see um, Beneath the Silence. So that's the 10-year one. <laughs> that's the 10-year one? Okay, we'll go back there for a minute. <laughs> Uh, let's give it a bit of honor here 10 years okay and here we have a series yeah and we mentioned before when we were chatting that you found that writing a series um was a good way to go as well yeah certainly for an independent author because when a reader reads that first book they're going to be a lot more likely to want to go on to the next one and the next and the next so um where we don't have the marketing power that big publishing houses would have that is certainly a way to help keep those readers um, going through your stories. Engaged and yeah. coming back, which is which is definitely what you want. And again, this series here, I'm actually, I'm reading the one in the middle. That's the first book. Yes. Uh, behind Our Lives. And that's set in Halifax, which is so cool. Yes. It's, it's very nice to read about books that are set in places where the authors live. Okay. And uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, it's fairly important to me. I mean, partly because it's obviously a little easier, but partly because I love this place and it's got character and I know it and I feel better, you know, if I had a story that was specifically set in another place, fine. But if a story could technically be set set everywhere, I want to set it in the place that would feel most genuine to me. And this is the place at the moment that I know the best. Um, and actually that was a huge part of who, why I chose the production company that I chose because they, you know, who knows what will happen, but they really wanted to set it in Halifax because they wanted to stick to that specificity and, and, you know, make it a Canadian story and something that uh, feels genuine that they can hopefully uh, interest an international audience because of, I guess just staying true to, to mm-hmm. the intentions. And that's the way the world is today. Yes. Charlene, thank you so much for, for chatting with me and sharing all this information. I know the audience will love it. 
and you're an inspiration to writers everywhere. Thanks, folks, for joining us on Let's Get Writing, and we'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you, Charlene. Bye. Bye. Thank you. If you have a comment about this program, we'd love to hear it. Email or call us or send us your feedback through social media. Series. When Calls the Heart returns with an all new season. Constable, I wrote this as a love letter to my son and to everyone else in this town. I can't quite outrun my past. Fire! We're on the threshold of a new era here. When Calls the Heart, season nine. Sometimes. For a wish to come true, it takes a kingdom. Because together is stronger. Tied tight, united we stand. In honor of one child's wish. To fuel the fire that will grant many more. Join the kingdom.